here we are with a new video on Once Human. With the release of the new map on October 18th, I'm rushing to upload all the story content I've recorded so that my beloved followers don't miss out on the latest updates and the new map. The videos will be much longer than usual, but I hope you'll still enjoy them. I'll be talking a bit less, but you'll have all the content available to help you explore and find every item on the map. We had left off with the completion of the missions located in the southeast of the map, and we were about to go search for the chest to open. And here we are with this mini game to open the chest that will give us the mission item, which has brought us all the way here. Open the chest with ease, we find this document, Ryan, Fourth Rosetta Researcher. This is a simple multicellular organism called Censored. By observing and recording the characteristics and timing of each stage of Censored, I discovered that the life cycle of Censored includes an egg stage, four larval stages, and an adult stage. I also found that its length during the larval and adult stages is influenced by environmental factors and nutritional conditions. Furthermore, I studied the behavioral characteristics of sensor. Through observations of its movement, feeding, and foraging behaviors, I found that sensor is highly responsive to environmental stimuli and food availability. I also tested its perception of chemicals and temperature, documenting its behavioral patterns and response times. Additionally, there are some peculiar genetic traits in Sensord. Through crossbreeding and genetic mutation analysis, I determined that the Sensord gene plays a significant role in the development and behavior of Sensord, even affecting mating behavior and reproductive patterns. What we have to do now is to implant Sensord into the eyes of prisoners and observe what happens. Signed. Wild Dog Sick Bay, Southeast Broken Delta. By activating the Rift Anchor here, you'll unlock the field guide page titled Wild Dog Isle Outpost. Here we need to take a picture, as I'm showing you, to unlock a secret door. By opening the secret door, you'll find a document titled Weapon Research and Development where Ryan explains, Recently, I have been focused on researching a new weapon I call Sensura. Sensura is a Sensura that utilizes magnetism and energy blades, providing excellent attack power and flexibility. Due to Sensura's potential harm to living organisms, we have chosen Wild Dog Isle for our experiments. On September 15th, in the year Sensura 15, I conducted performance testing on Sensura. Using Sensura, I cut various targets made of different materials, including alloys and diamonds. The results showed that Sensura has outstanding cutting and penetration capabilities, easily overcoming various forms of protection. This research provides new insights and possibilities for the future development of new weaponry. Since I had some metal with me that was needed for the mission, I went to deliver it, even though I forgot that both parts had to be handed in. However, 
Since I hadn't fully searched the area, I decided to take my time and recheck every house I had previously skipped. In fact, in this area, specifically on the shelves outside this house, you'll find a full bookcase. While entering inside, you'll find a medium frame fifth. Now let's carefully check these areas so we don't miss anything important and continue on our way. Perfect. I'd say I've checked everywhere. We can get going. But now let's go deliver the quests that I completed on the island. Here we are. Let's go talk to Claire right away. You interested in an explorer's journal? On the sandy shores of Wild Dog Isle, I completed these unfinished exploration notes. What happened to her? Only for a good price. Who is this Denise Cooper? And you got to meet her a few times, right? What was she like in person? Okay, now we're heading towards the various structures in the southeast of the map where I hadn't fully explored the areas because I was loaded with items and had to go home, but now we'll calmly complete all the possible routes.
Here I forgot to collect the blue loot that the mini boss dropped, and we also found a beautiful DBSG shotgun. It looks like a green double barrel, nothing special, but always welcome. We also couldn't complete everything here due to the weight, which we will empty out now, but we'll finish on the next round. In the meantime, let's head home while checking these houses to make sure we're fully stocked. This short break at home gave me a crazy idea to try completing the Manibus Tentacle by myself. Let's see if I can do it. Here we even found a field guide page that we hadn't collected at the beginning of the game. As always, revisiting places we've already been is a great idea. Given the damage received while staying outside, I tried a strategy that seems to work more or less well. Entering the bar during attacks, and when the aura raises my mental insanity, and then trying to unload as many magazines as possible onto it. Play the rocky soundtrack against this boss. The fight, despite dealing a lot of damage, is tough. As you've seen, I've already died a couple of times, but I won't give up since we're dealing damage, so I want to keep facing it. I wanted to change spots because I wasn't hitting the flowers, which are its weak point, so inside the cathedral might be even better than the bar.
I knocked down the arm, but oh my god. There are two more to destroy. I can't do it. It takes damage, but wow. This will be too hard. No, not the level 50 monsters. I can't do it. I have to retreat. I'm going home, bye. Now we wait for the end of the event to receive our well-deserved reward. Nothing too special, but we reached level 32. But without getting sidetracked too much, let's go do more missions. And finally, I remembered to bring the materials so I will complete the mission, and he will be very happy. It's all here. Damn, poor guy wanted more, but with these, he'll do something. Let's try this new refined fuel for my bike, hoping he'll be happier with it than the scrap I was giving him. Let's take a moment to check this area. Here we find a page from the book, This Beautiful World. Let's continue exploring the area so we don't miss anything. There are so many chests in this area, great loot for our disassembly bench as always. In this chest we can find a beautiful impressionism frame, level 4. And now let's continue exploring the area from before that I had overlooked. This factory is truly massive. It's going to take a while. Certain areas seem much smaller than they actually are, but I'm happy.
Okay, here we found a green mod for boosting damage to opponent's weak points, which I would say is very useful. We had to change weapons here because the durability of the one I was using ran out. Let's try this weapon with the electric damage bonus and see if it performs as well as the other one. I think it will. Unfortunately, Manibus has shown up and we need to wait for it to leave because it will take away too much health for no reason. And now that it's gone, let's go back to exploring the area. This is almost the last point we needed to explore in this factory, which we covered in previous videos. Inside this wagon, we have the mystical crate where we also find 10 blueprints for the scout set armor. And we also find the field guide page titled Junkyard. I'd say it's an appropriate name for the gigantic area we just explored. that deal a lot of damage. Let's get rid of them right away. And here we find the page of the field guide titled Preacher. Inside this house, we find another page of the field guide titled, The Awakening of Faith. How beautiful this area would have been if it weren't for all this catastrophe. It would have been stunning right by the sea. If there were a deck chair, I could even sunbathe. Okay. We've explored this beautiful area completely. Let's move on and find other lost zones on the map to see if we can discover something interesting. In fact, just as expected, we found this nice billboard painting, Fifth One. If I hadn't come all the way here, who knows if I would have found it again. Perfect, we've checked everything. Let's go do that awesome event. And I remind you that you can complete up to six of these per day. So it's a great chance for some good loot. Through this event, you'll always get a mini feaster as a reward, so don't expect much else.
Here we also unlock this teleport and change zones because we've explored everything that can be explored. All right, now we're going to do a silo. Let's go. Is there a new bounty task? I have to say, you came at a perfect moment. Are you ready for your next assignment? The elimination target is quite far from here, isn't? It's related to a caravan from Greywater. They traveled far, and business was great. However, all the members were killed on their journey back. The murderer is a sneaky deviant. I assume those less fortunate took a shortcut. Who would know it was a path leading into the deviant's trap? Who's the client? The mother of Robin Crichton. Madeline Crichton. She made up her mind to seek revenge for her only child. As you might have noticed, Madeline shares an ancestry with my son. The Crichton family did well. She told me that revenge held the trap by Mr. Duna. I don't want to leave. She's in the new town. Tempted to circle. She told me that I could get back to the camp. While we head off to take down the big bad, I'll read you the letter. Tombstone. The client, Madeline Crichton. B, a senior pilot with the Union Survey Team, has accused the aforementioned deviant of being responsible for a massacre near the Blackfell oil fields in late October, censored 38. Five members of a caravan, including Robin Crichton, the client's only son, were murdered during the incident. After a thorough examination of all available evidence, Team declares the defendant guilty as charged. According to the censored 978 Malcott Penal Code and the 31st Amendment of the State Constitution on Aggravated Crime, the deviant is hereby sentence incomplete. Witnesses have testified that the felon is presently hiding deep within securement silo 5 in the Iron River area and is on high alert. Signatory, Madeline Crichton. I designate the Mayflies as the executor of this bounty task. Bounty validity period. Censored 38.11 to 9999.12. Seems like we've got quite the mission ahead of us. Hello, Mayfly. I've been waiting to meet you. Mrs. Madeline, listen about Robin. Robin is alive, I know. But thank you for telling me. What's done is done. I have paid my price. There is no turning back. If you see Robin, tell him to look after himself. There's not much to say. What an extraordinary woman, wasn't she? So composed, even when facing such turbulence in life. The courage of people here. Impressive. Don't play dumb. I know you have news on Robin Crichton. Aware? Unaware? What difference does it make? After all, the Deviant did kill several people, minus Robin Crichton. My judgment still stands. The important thing is, justice being delivered. I got paid, and you, after all, get to receive a handsome reward. And we've completed this mission too, with some great rewards, I dare say. Okay, let's return to exploring the areas of this map. Oh, another event. Let's stop and check it out. As I was saying, another mini feaster. They're useful in combat, even though you've never seen them in action from me.
Okay, in this little house above the kitchen table, you can find only friends, a page from the kitchen. But look at all this loot for such a tiny house. Our pockets are going to be very happy. Let's go check out this shed too. Vegetables that are never enough to make our fabulous dishes. Lots of veggies and many monsters. Let's go check out the basement. Always flooded. They should install a pump. Maybe I could do it myself. Who knows? Something good might come out of it. Okay, now let's head to that little town. Perfect, let's go. But first, I'd swing by home to unload. It's been a while since I crashed.
Let's play with the wishing machine. Yay, renegade jacket in gold. Let's build it and equip it right away. I wonder how much defense it'll give me. As you've seen, I quickly started adding mods to each piece of equipment. I'm not sure if they'll be truly essential, but I don't think they're completely useless either. Now we'll find out. Now that we're in town, let's thoroughly explore it with our usual attention to detail and hidden spots. This city is quite large. There are fewer monsters than usual, but that's better. We'll save ammo. Too bad we aren't finding many good items, but let's hope something comes out of the disassembly bench. And in the meantime, we've reached level 33. It took us longer than usual, or am I wrong? Maybe because I haven't faced as many monsters?
But look here, a deviation strange door. What a nice name. You'll be my new friend, door. Here we have a page from the field guide, Hypothesis. My hypothesis was that the pages were all gone. Did I just talk? Now, another page. Desperate prayer. Maybe it was talking about me. I'm happy to find things. It's always a nice feeling, and I feel more accomplished this way. completing this city too. Let's head towards the rift anchor. Umbrella, you're not scaring me. Goodbye. There was so much loot in this city, it had 3,000 houses. I want items for the house, give them to me. Another painting on Impressionism, this time it's the sixth one. And here we have Temporary Closure, a page from the field guide. Blood and spiders everywhere. We've explored this too. Now let's head home because I'm full of items and then we'll set off again. Unloaded, now we can set off again. Perfect. Heading northeast to complete that mission and explore the various towns before it. Since I haven't been there, let's take our time and hope to find something.
Too bad there's nothing interesting, but let's keep looking around. Oh, look what we have here. Let's defend this extractor. Let's start building our defenses. With all these defenses, I want to see if they can get through. Okay, we're ready. Let the assault on our extractor castle begin. I'm doing it. Wow, that monster destroyed me, and it was tough to kill too. Oh well, I messed up here. Let's hope it doesn't destroy anything, though I don't think it will. The roof is holding strong. Too bad, even with this extractor, I wasn't able to get the sad deviation. this spot and what do I find? A floor tint? Okay, the little houses before the mission didn't contain anything. Now let's head into the mission and see what awaits us. Okay, I forgot about this one too. And here's our mission. Let's see what it wants. Why are you crying? What happened?
Okay, I'll help you out. Okay, with this bell, we can make it appear. Let's head to the indicated location. In the meantime, I took the opportunity to look around and take on these enemies. Maybe I'll find something nice. Who knows? Okay, let's call it... You just need to take a picture together. How cute. Let's head to the next location. It wants a photo with the scarecrow. What an interesting photo. Here, a photo with the bonfire. How nice. Peter, my only regret is Bella. I promise to take her traveling whenever you feel afraid. Look up and there are stars shining for you. Love, Daddy. What a touching letter. Okay, a photo on the grave. It's a bit sad and strange, but if she wants it as a memory for a friend, then why not? Did you fulfill your wish? You still held on to your true self? I'm so happy to have helped her. She seemed really happy. Now let's go back to where we were before this mission which practically brought me back to where my house is, and let's complete the city near the dock where I had the mission. Here we are at the dock.
already nothing interesting, but let's keep moving. This deviation is interesting. We found and picked up a frog the leper. I need to study the area well so I don't forget anything among these containers. Oh, a raid helmet. Too bad my current armor is much better. If I had come here earlier, it might have been useful. But the disassembly bench will be happy. And we've reached level 34. This time, we really leveled up quickly. Let's go activate the Rift Anchor too. Hmm, more items for our disassembly bench. I have better ones, but this place is full of good loot. Let's grab them. Here we find Path to Fortune, another page from the field guide, and on top we have Backup Meal. But look at this cursed explosion. It took away so much of my health. Here we find another page from the field guide titled Unknown Evolution. Here we have another billboard, this time it's the second one. Oh great, up here, we find both the mystical create and these 30 pieces of the blueprint agent set, along with the page from the field guide titled Ripplebe.
here we find this letter that says, helicopter wreckage. Only 500 kilograms were salvaged today. Frank's still slacking off. His parents really raised him well, huh? Brandon mentioned the helicopter was taken down by a woman who could fly. She was like a superhero who knocked it out of the sky. Quite the funny one, that guy. I better have him ease up on the drinks later. Perfect. Now we just have to turn in the mission, but we'll stop here for now because we plan to do more missions, which you'll see in the next video. I hope you enjoyed the video. Just a reminder that Once Human is free on both Steam and their website, oncehuman.game. If you did, please subscribe, leave a like or comment, and remember to hit the bell icon for notifications on my videos.